Years ago, when I bought this shaper, it was in perfect condition. And in fact, it still is. But after using it, after many, many hours, it started to wear a little bit and it makes a line right here on the slide and on this side too. I hope the camera picks it up, but here is the little line and you can feel it. And on the other side of the slide, exactly the same problem. I suppose the table, the slide part here on the table is starting to wear and it leaves a, a little burr or something here on the inside. So I should think the best thing to do is to take this table off and have a look inside here on the back side, have a closer look to see what's happening. But even if this is a very small machine, this table is way too heavy for me to lift. And that was a very good reason for me to push this little project a bit in front of me. Too heavy so I can't fix it. But now that I have my gantry crane in working order, the lifting argument doesn't make sense anymore. So, let's go for it. Here's a little tip for all the Hembrich Shaper owners. The feed mechanism ratchet thing here, you can't just slide it off like this. Because the sort of gear that's in here is of course held on with a key. In the housing here we can see that there's a key slot. You have to align the slot with the key slot on the shaft and then it comes out very easy. And here's the little key. If you don't do this, you risk to break this uh, casting here. To make it easy to reassemble after, I mark the teeth of this feed mechanism. So when you take this one out, it's very easy to put it back in, in the same position. I have to take the lead screw out because the nut that's behind here, hidden in this thing, is so tight and it's so almost impossible to reach it, it's way easier to take out the lead screw.
Tudo bem. And here it is on my mobile kitchen table and I tried to make, take some kind of measurement but of course I don't have the right tools to do this but it gives maybe a little bit an idea if I move this thing over the rim and the other side I have about two hundredths of a millimeter it's a little bit less than one foul for the Imperials. On the little rim itself you can see the scraping marks and here they disappeared and it catches my nail a little bit. So I think the best thing to do is to cut it off. But it is a little bit too much to do it by hand. So I will do it on the shaper. Or maybe not. As I said, I will do it on the milling machine. <sighs> on the lathe. There's always something. While I was wondering what machine to use and what system to use to cut this little rib off, suddenly I had a visit from a Ukrainian cat. This cat understood that I needed help for this project. And now I have a plan. Let me explain. I took the table off the table to put it here on the table. And uh, the idea is to horizontal milling this thing. So I took off the vertical head, I will put this cute little 8mm end mill in here. So I can cut this rim here. Install table this way of course. Now I have to be very careful not to cut too deep and not to cut the sliding surface because there's already a little bit of wear I don't want to cut it deeper. I could cut the old surface but then of course I have to cut this surface too otherwise my table after mounting will be out of square. Which means I also have to cut this surface and this small surface to have the exact width of the slides on the shaper. I'm not gonna do that, my idea is to just cut this little rim off. To do this the ideal should be, I think, to put, oh it's heavy, 
my table in an angle. So after cutting I will have a little bit of teeth idea cut. Only to avoid to have a new line after wearing again the next time. But I think it's a bit too complicated. So I will install the table this way, clamp it down, cut this rim off and game over. I clamp the thing down on the table with a typical rusty setup mode I suppose and I line it out almost no movement on the dial. Now there is movement because this surface has a little bow in it. A bow of about three hundredths of a millimeter. Just over one thou for the Imperials. But it is what it is. I will install the little cutter and get rid of this rim here. The light is maybe not ideal for filming, but I like to see what I'm doing or what the machine is doing. Let's go for it. It left a tiny little burr here, but I think that the stone will make a quick job of it to get it off. Before I break down my setup here, I thought it's maybe a good idea to take a little bit measurements. Zero the dial. For the moment the point is at the freshly cut surface. I move down. Now we are on the wear surface. No movement at the needle. Go back to the freshly cut surface. Move this way. No movement at the needle. Go down again to the wear surface. Down is the other way of course. And here we see the difference that we had in the beginning, before the cut, the bow idea. I took the table off the table, I cleaned up a bit the whole zwick here, I cleaned up these two little uh, blocks here, touch of a stone, ready to go. Let's see if it's possible to make this green thing here look like a shaper again. There's no need to be impressed by this gantry crane. The table of this machine is really not that heavy. For me it is, but 
for normal people you can easily lift it by hand and of course adjusting the gig perfect something to think about for the future is finding another lead screw this one is showing a lot of wear it's a bit a crude measurement of course but here I have 2.4 when I go to the middle part two so that's four tenths of a millimeter almost a half a millimeter of material that is disappeared for the moment I will reinstall this one because it still works but I have to keep my eyes open for a new one I think it looks like a shaper again. It's maybe a good idea to take a little bit some measurements. I installed my indicator on the RAM and in theory this table should be in line with the RAM. Let's check. Zero. Minus two. Two hundredths of a millimeter of drop that is less than one thou for the imperials. Now I know where it comes from is this uh, plate that hooks here behind this uh, rail system that was also a bit of wear so all I have to do is take it off one day that my milling machine is back at vertical and give a little fly cut on it, reinstall and it will be perfect. And let's not forget that I have these magnificent results thanks to a little cat.